Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to go over three things that I wish I knew before I got into cybersecurity. Now originally I was a computer science major and I switched over to cybersecurity. The reason I went to university to begin with and why everybody else goes to university is they're trying to land a job that pays a lot of money. Which brings me to the first thing I wish I knew is salary expectations going into cybersecurity are not as high as I initially had thought. Now it didn't help that my professors were saying stuff like, we heard from hiring managers that were shocked that we teach our students this. So it was a lot of that going through my four year degree where they were hyping us up like, oh yeah, you're gonna get a job, no worries. And if you look at the average numbers, for example, here on ZipRecruiter, you have a bottom end of 40,000 to 65,000, which is still pretty good. I mean, don't get me wrong, but that's the expectation you should go into a entry level cybersecurity position, which by the way, that's pretty much where I landed here in my current role. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I thought I would be getting the roughly 100K right off the bat. But generally speaking, you make what you are capable of doing. And university tends to teach a lot of top level stuff about a lot of stuff. So I touched everywhere from Linux to exploits, to Windows processes, to machine learning code, to Python, to SQL, like they just gave us everything and we only knew a little tiny bit about everything. So of course it doesn't correspond to a year or even a two years of experience doing anything that is going to land me a job that would make me 100K. So I have to start somewhere and, and luckily I did. The number two thing that I wish I knew and something that I get a lot of questions about is you don't actually need to know how to code to get a job in cybersecurity. There's tons of jobs that you can get just knowing how to investigate, knowing about vulnerabilities in general to be able to break into something. You just need to know how to use a tool, for example, if you're a penetration tester or if you're a security consultant, then you only really need to know how to help a business with their security posture and what software to bring into the company and what audits you would need to perform and stuff like that. That has nothing to do with coding. Even something like alert tuning to filter out false positives doesn't require you to know how to code. It just requires you to know how to read the software generating the alerts. So you don't need to code the software. You just need to know how it works. If you ever decide that you want to learn coding, then you can always learn that later. It is most certainly not something you need to know how to do from scratch. Like you don't need to code a game from A to Z. But what do you need to know going into cybersecurity? Generally, it's just basic understanding of operating systems, networking is huge, and understanding what malicious activity looks like. Because if you can recognize what malicious activity is, then you can defend the network and you can defend the business. If you wanna learn a little bit more about what you need to know, check out my video on cybersecurity for beginners. It goes a little bit more into depth on, on the things that you would need to know going into the field. And thirdly, you don't need to do help desk. I know, and I know what you're thinking. Yes. Now I told people in other videos, when you get your A+, immediately start applying to help desk. Now that still stands, it does help you to have help desk experience on a resume. The reason I say you don't need it is because of the type of coworkers I've encountered in my two help desk jobs that I've had in the past. These are what I like to categorize as dead end workers, which are guys that know how to do something and that's it. They don't wanna learn, they, if they have to learn, it's like pulling teeth. They know how to install applications on a computer, they know a little bit about networking, and how to troubleshoot networking with a little bit of Windows commands, and that's it. Virtual machines, Linux, vulnerabilities, exploits, they knew none of that, and they didn't care, and they were just there for, to pick up a paycheck. They didn't seem to be doing anything after work or looking for work that's more difficult that might teach them how to do those types of things. If ever there was a perfect analogy, it'd be this. This is fine do what I know how to do and go home and come back and do the same thing the next day. So don't do that. Be better, start today, be hungry to learn. And since you've already been working on computers, why not get into security? Think of technical support help desk like the trunk of a tree. And at the top you have where it branches off into the money making, <laughs> the positions that require a lot more niche and advanced understanding of technical principles. So while you do need to know all the stuff in the middle, that's generally stuff that you can pick up very quickly, very easily, and does not require, and generally does not require a four-year degree, a boot camp, cert certifications, doesn't require any of that. And if some of you are working in help desk right now, I'm sure a lot of you can attest to the help desk coworkers that you have that don't even know how to install a printer and don't even know the difference between a local account and a domain account. That's all to say that help desk is great for a paycheck, but it's not gonna do a whole lot unless the job gives you access to security tools where you can further your education and learn more. 
and gain experience that's going to allow you to further your career and maybe even get that first job in a cybersecurity. If you're resetting passwords all day long in help desk and you apply for all these jobs, you might land a few interviews, but come time to answer the technical questions, you're not gonna understand any of them. Help desk will give you that basic understanding of computers if you don't already know that. If you spent your whole life on computers like I have for the past 15 years, then the typical help desk position is not going to provide you that much helpful knowledge when it comes to advancing your cybersecurity career. So recapping, salary expectations should be at the bottom end of the range if you want to stand any chance of getting into the middle average range, then you have to hustle, you have to do side projects, you have to do internships, you have to do so much more when you're going through university. If you're not doing university, then you have to do a substantial amount of legwork to learn how to do the work that these higher paying jobs are asking you to do. But if you are just going into the entry level job, then you're probably going to get that bottom end of the salary range. Two, you don't need to know coding, so don't freak out about that. If you do know how to code, that's great. Just start applying for stock analyst positions, cybersecurity positions, just any entry level job that you have chosen to be your niche in the security field. And thirdly, you don't need to do help desk. If you can't stand talking to people and resetting their password a million times, then just spend a little extra time working on certs, working on your knowledge, working on everything that can land you the position that you're looking for. But most importantly, you have to keep watching my videos. <laughs> But most importantly, subscribe, because I'm gonna be giving you so much more knowledge than you'll ever be able to learn on your own. But in all seriousness, you just need to start. Do not be that help desk person or that person stuck in another non-technical related field and just and afraid of taking the leap because let me tell you, there's multiple people in my current position who started out with no experience whatsoever. There was an ex-technical support person who had absolutely no certs, degrees, in cybersecurity. There was a security guard who worked at the front desk who showed an interest in security. And my boss coming in and out of the building would ask him questions on a day-to-day -day basis. And over time, they would start to realize, oh, this person is actively learning this. and and really knows their stuff. And eventually they got taken on as a full-time security analyst. Even the person that started with me is currently in the middle of a cybersecurity degree with basically no background in tech support or cybersecurity. So that's all to say, don't set your expectations of what you need to know so high before even applying for entry-level jobs. And that's it for three things I wish I knew before I got into cybersecurity. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.